this people. Hmm? Don't mind him. We only invited you here because of the complaint brought to us by our wife, Antonia. Yes. Yes. She said you have stopped helping her and the rest and that you no longer give them money. And I told her, I told her that she should calm down, give you time, that it's possible you are not having much at hand for now. That was what we actually told her. I said, I meant it. She should be patient. Uh, yes, uh, and we also told her that she should allow you to disturb you at all. That running that big company is not easy. I need to concentrate. I, I, I exactly. Yes. yes. Hi. So this. No, what is this? Hi. Wait. Why are you all so afraid of this man? So much so that everything we discussed, you decided to change. Just like that. Eh? Hey, hey, hey. So you are confirming to me that there was actually a meeting and I was not invited. So you actually met and discussed. That's what I say. Omo, now with due respect, I am highly disappointed. I am disappointed. What is going on here? We all agreed that you will task this man to share the bosses and property of my late father since he has stopped caring, caring for us. What is going on? I'm a full grown man now and I can take care of my father's assets and liabilities. And you people are seated here saying nothing. What is going on? Are you afraid of this man? Are you scared of him? Because I am not afraid of him. Honestly, I am very much disappointed. Very, very disappointed. Umana. Hey. And you, Udu. Let me tell you something. They may be afraid of you. But I, Sir Timothy, I am not afraid of you. You are such a very wicked man. Very, very wicked. Now let me tell you something. I give you two days. Just two days to return to Antonia and her family. Everything that rightly belongs to them. Everything. Failure to do so. And I, Sir Timothy, will personally deal with you. Yes! I will deal with you! Nonsense. Huh? Ah. Mm -hmm. Please, our wife and our son, we were not stupid to have done what we did. Exactly. Odogu is such a wicked person. Very, very. Very, very. Now, I'm going to go this man. Odogu has so much buried himself in charm that Odogu is going to like this. Before. And I have come to realize that the best strategy to fight this kind of person is to be very, very logical. Exactly. But we are just using sense. Sense. We applied wisdom. We will get him. We will get him. Uh, what we are saying, please, don't be angry. You know, if we did not plan very well, we might lose one of you. And we don't want that to happen. We are just being careful, you know? That is exactly the truth, our wife. Hmm? And God Almighty will answer your prayers. Amen. See, the whole of us will assist whichever way we can. Yes. Hmm? Please. Hmm? I don't even know what to tell you, Edas. I don't. I don't know. What you people did today, I did not expect it at all at all. Yeah, wow. It was only the Timothy that stood up to challenge him. People were just keeping quiet, saying another thing I, I, that, that, that I did not understand. Akoeri, my son, you see what we did now? Eh? Even we did not expect it. We did not expect it. Mamoru Chekaji Aga. I told you before, we will catch him. Remember, you 
we were even surprised that Inze Timothy was able to do what he did. Probably, he has something he relies upon. Of course. And we don't. Uh -huh. So, please, let us take it softly. Hmm? Everything will be fine. I told you the other time that I am no longer interested in killing anybody. But something happened today and I have changed my mind. I have been pushed to the wall and if the scorpion fails to do that, which made him the scorpion. Little children will pick it up and throw it into the fire. Mr. Timothy has beaten more than he can chew. Mr. Timothy looked at me in my face today and told me that he would deal with me. Mr. Timothy asked me, who do you think you are? He cannot go scot-free after committing the blunder. Today, I want the Timothy to be removed from the list of men that are still alive in a woman. So that in his next life he will learn never to challenge the masquerade that is leading the way. It will happen tonight, and it must happen this night. This for me, and I'm going to kill a cow for you. And I will still bring all the members of the woman to come and eat that cow. My, my, this way you're still sleeping. Are you no longer going to Navy again? Nine. 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 <laughs> Nine. 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 His remains has to be lowered into the grave today. In accordance with the rule in our moon, no corpse goes to the mortuary. But what could have happened to the Timothy? He was very okay only yesterday. I am suspecting 
high blood pressure or heart failure. Why is she waiting to the room this morning? And so on. She equally confirmed that she did not hear any shout or any struggle of any kind. That he just died in his sleep. We have just lost a brother. A brother who was hale and happy yesterday. Hmm. Well, we have no option. We call the young man to dig his grave and get him buried. Of course. Uh, but even, oh. as we, even as we do that, I must have to advise us that it has become increasingly important for us to take care of our health. The death of Nze Timothy, as painful as it is, must be a lesson to all of us. That is what we must learn from this. Take care of our head. You go well. How did it happen? His wife said he slept and didn't wake up again. Just like that? Just like that. Hey, this is stranger. Nah. Have you seen the reason I asked you never to confront Odobu? Have you seen it? No, I don't understand. Are you implying that he's the one that killed the Zetimut? That's not what I'm saying. But all I'm trying to tell you is that man is evil. Odogu Barose. He has too many ways to kill people. Did you not hear when they said he can even poison someone from his eyes? I heard Nah, you. stay away. Mom, I heard it. I heard, I heard people saying it, but I don't believe that. Uh -uh. No, How can somebody that. just poison somebody with his eyes? Listen Is it possible? to me. I do not have time to argue with you. I'm the one that gave birth to you. And I'm warning you, for the first and the last time, never you confront Odogu. Are you listening to me? I do not want to lose you. Odogu should also stay away from me. Okogungurungo, I owe you one for you have done it again. Nze Timothy. You will never dare a man like me in your next life, stupid man. Father, he has refused to help my family and I. Udogu kept insisting that I should sleep with him first. I'm telling you, he has stopped helping us. Father, you're the only one I can open up to. Please, I need your help. This is a sad story. Why would he do such? I don't know. I don't know. Honestly. I do not know. Odogu is my husband's brother. Not just brothers, but they were like best of friends. Which was why my husband invested so much in his transportation business. But look at him now. See the way he's treating us. He has refused to help us. I've heard you. Don't worry, I, I will speak with him. Don't worry. God is in control. Amen. Everything will be all right. Amen, Father. Don't worry. Ogodu, this is the original Asu. 
immediately I get to that man's shop, I ask the man to give me the original one because the one he gave to this idiot was fake. And this idiot have the demand to bring that nonsense. Uh, okay, well, just hold it. Why will we, why will, why, why, why will we be calling me names now? What bad have I done? I went to that place and I asked the man, this pass you're giving to me, are you sure it's the original one? He said yes, it's the original one, I should go with this one that he knows what he's giving to me. I asked him again, are you sure that this pass is the original one? He said yes. So why is it my fault? And I came back now. Now you're calling me names. How it is your fault, that danger is because I told you not to go. That you should send Tibo Zobo. Tibo Zobo is a mechanic. He will know the original one. But you refuse and went there so that you get Aplico. Yes, now. Where? Aplico. Aplico. Were you not there when Tibo Zobo confirmed that that one was fake? Were you not there? So, him that knows motor pass, everything about motor pass, why didn't he go to that place to, 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 to get it? But I personally ask you not to go at danger. Did I not ask you not to go by yourself? You asked me now, but I thought I was doing you people favor. Ah. Uh -huh. By disobeying. Peace of the Lord be with you. Peace of the Lord be with you. Uh, welcome, Reverend Father. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Odogu oh, Lijuafo, I greet you. Do I know you? Well, I'm not surprised you don't know me. Why must I know you? Have you been sharing money to people in millions to warrant a man like me knowing you? I'm Reverend Father Charles, the parish priest here in Njikoka. Reverend Father Charles, what are you doing in my office? I want to have a private discussion with you. Juma. Yes. So please, Udogu, I beg you in the name of God to do the right. Don't be misled by greed or any other sinful interest. Please, I beg you. Are you done? Yes. I believe I made my point. And what is that your name again? Father Edmund Charles. Edmund Charles. Without missing words, eh? I'm going to tell you to your face that you are very stupid. Stupidity is the only reason you will leave your office and come here to say the rubbish you said to me already. Are you mad? Since you became the parish priest, have you seen me in your office? Have you seen me in your church? Have you seen me in any of your gatherings or any of your meetings? Have you seen me anywhere? Possibly by description, you came here to call me your double Jurafo. Is it not today you are seeing me for the very first time? Why are you poking your long nose into my affairs? Let me tell you. Get out of my office. I am not going to come to your office or your church for anything. Let this be the last time you will ever come to my office. In one young one, Mega alone. What's your money? Bro? Well, the Lord will be happy to see you return to Him. May the peace of the Lord be with you. If the scorpion fails to sting in time, even a goat will step on it. An ordained man of God, away from your office. <sighs> what kind of a man are you? Ordained man of God? Ordained by who? Is it not the same ordained man of God who have been sleeping with wives of men and possibly sleeping with the equally ordained women of God? Antonia, can you swear? Can you swear on a vehicle? 
on the engine of a moving vehicle that you have not been sleeping with the so-called man of God that uh, you had the ghost to send to my office? Can you? May God have mercy on you. That's all. God will always have mercy on me because he is a merciful God. But is it possible for you to at least help God? Help God by having mercy on me first. By giving me this something I've been asking you to give me. Can you do that as a merciful woman that I know you are? Odogu, you are lost. How? The only prayers that I will make for you is to ask God to have mercy on all your sins. He will always forgive all our sins and he promised to forgive and you know that. But why are you resisting me, Antonia? Can we stop all this? Are you not aware that every single problem we're having is going to stop? If only you give me this thing. After look at how beautiful you are. Why should I have a beauty like you and I am not enjoying it? Or did anybody tell you that when you grant me unhindered access into this wonderful garden of yours that the garden is going to spoil? Make sure you do not touch me. I am careful not to go to the main place. I am only playing by the peripherals. Listen to me. I'm going to tell you this once and for all. My children and I, we do not need anything from you anymore. Anything what? whatsoever what? that comes from you. Why, do not why, need it. why will you say that? Now, Dogu, this is the part where you will leave my house. And now, did you really say that? You can just open your mouth and speak anyhow. Listen, Anthony, I was the one who gave your husband this land to build this house. And you feel you can send me away from my land? It's not possible. Listen, beautiful Antonia, I am still playing it cool with you because of my late brother. And I am hoping that you will comport yourself and give it to me freely. Why are you making this? Stop! I have delivered a message. What is all this, God? wife why are you proving stubborn you don't know me I eat what I like and nothing can ever eat me Antonia the widow of my brother I must eat you I must cultivate in that garden of yours or I am going to destroy the garden from the root. Mother, you don't understand. This is my final year. I need to pay my fee before I will write the exam. I understand. But I want you to know that I do not have money. I know. And that is why I have to seal on Kolodobo. So as to help me. 
It still baffles me how you mentioned that man's name. Udogu. Stop! Mo, just tell me. What other option do we have here? Yes, I know he has been rejecting my calls and all that. But I still have to meet him one on one. So as to tell him how important it is. Please. I have to meet him. No. You will not. I want you to stay away from that man. That man is evil. You children will not understand. Please. Mother, what do you want me to do? Even Amanda has stopped helping me. Yes. She has even paid her own fees. <sighs> Honestly, mother, I don't know what is going on. Amanda, Kwa. Amanda, Kwa. Amanda know. has stopped helping you in school? Yes, mother. Sometimes she will travel for several days without dropping money for me like she used to. Sure. I will even call and call. She will not pick my call or even return it. To be honest, mother, I don't know what is going on. But definitely something is fishy. Something is going on. It's all right. <laughs> Whatever it is that is going on, I want you to understand that God will provide. Please! Do not, for any reason, go to Dogu's house to ask him for anything. Please. This is my final year we are talking about. Please. I understand. Relax, someone. You know? Okay. Come here. Are you high or something? No, no, what are you doing? Why are you loading your useless bus right in front of my garage? Are you mad or what? Oh, the word, no, 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 don't, don't, don't. I don't need any, and don't need any greeting from you. What is this? Oh, Madika, when did this one start? You, are, you have only one boss. Even Ali Bumbacha, Pukie Gana Bumbacha. Why will you take advantage of my garage? Now you are packing your useless boss here, and you are loading your boss in my garage. The garage I maintain with plenty of money. Yeah. You, you go, I'm sorry, sir. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't need that, your son. The next time you will try this, oh, Madika. Not only will I set you on fire, you see that your boss, I will stick that place. I'm, I'm, hey, hey. I'm sorry. Move that boss. In fact, tell my boss to set. Move, move that boss immediately. What do I do? I can't afford to have all these years I spent in the university to be a waste. Yes. I need to pay my school fee and write my degree exam. Mother says I must not go to Odogo, that I must wait on God. How will that be possible? God can only help you through a human being. And Odogo is that human. What must I do? Sandra, Sandra. 
did you come back? I hope you're fine. Uncle, I'm not fine. I'm what? not fine at all. Uncle, you just turned your back against us. Remember the promise you made to us? Now my family and I are suffering. You just seized everything, Uncle. Sandra, in all honesty, it is not what you think at all. Sit down. Just sit down. Why? Why would you even say that? Sandra, you look more bothered. What is the problem? Uncle, my school fees. My school fees is the reason I've been calling all this while. But you refuse to pick my call, Uncle. <laughs> Uncle, this is our final year and Amanda has paid hers. I've not paid my own. Uncle, please, I don't want to miss it. Please. No, no, no. You're you are not going to miss the exam at all. You are not going. No. How can I? I am going to take care of everything so that uh, you will be happy. Hey, Uncle, are you serious? I am very serious. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but there is something I am just uh, wondering whether you can do for me. If you can keep this uncle, uncle aside as if I am the only uncle we have in this, in this world. Uh, you know, I, I am not actually a fan of that title. I, is it possible for you to start seeing me? You know, See me as a man, a man who is qualified by every standard to be in that status. Is it possible? Seriously, Uncle, I don't follow. What are you saying? And what I am saying is what you know. Sandra, by every standard, you are a big babe, a big girl, just like you are a big girl. I am a man equally. And I am thinking, is, is it possible for, for you to, you know, keep keep aside this uncle nonsense and uh, try to see me as a man that you can actually run things with? You understand what I am saying? As in, you know, whether we can just build that kind of, uh, you know, uh, synergy, you know, kind of relationship between a guy and a babe so that you know we can start doing stuff and I will, I, will, I will provide you with all the money you need to solve all your problems in fact I'm going to take care of you and take care of your family but you have to come come a bit down to my level you understand uncle what are you saying you heard me I am not making any outrageous demands Sandra listen I know you are not a you are not a virgin I know you do stuff with people. And I'm asking you now for us to start doing it so that you can use what you have to solve your problem. You, you understand? Listen, we're not going to go far. Nobody is going to know about it. It's going to be between you and I. Because here, here, right now, I have a very comfortable bedroom, like furnished to the standard of even the best hotel in this area. We can just move in. Stop, 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 stop. You want me to follow you to that room and do what? And do stuff. And then I will give you money to solve your problem. God forbid! Uncle, you are a disgrace! How? Uncle, you are a disgrace. Even when I came down to explain everything to her, why? Why? All of them are not ready to do stuff, but they want me to be doling out money. It's not possible. Eh? If the Ugili refuses to fall, <laughs> then the Mbada will refuse to leave the tree. All of us will die now. Oh my God, I can't believe this. 
my own uncle asked me to sleep with him. Blood of Jesus. Now I understand why mother said that he is evil. He's indeed evil. God. I'm shocked. Patricia's place. I went to ask her for money and she said she doesn't have money at the moment. Honestly, eh? I don't understand what is going on these days. People don't have money. Nya, ego bachacharo so everywhere. But listen to me. On no account should you go to your uncle Odogo's place to beg for money. That man is evil. If your mother can tell you he is evil, believe me, he is. Mother, I agree with you. I will never meet with him. You ask me not to. I won't. I promise. I will not. It's alright, isn't it? <laughs> like you said, Mama. God will provide. Now, where is your brother? <sighs> Mom, he went out as usual to see if he could hold some money. Jai. Mm. He's well. Yeah. Blessing, blessing. <laughs> don't go, don't go. <laughs> blessing, you are just, you are just very sweet. <laughs> I am going to tell you that. Ah. Uh, yeah? And I will keep being sweet for you always. I like the sound of that. <laughs> I like to hear you say that, you understand? <laughs> Odogo. What is it? What about the money you promised me? Is that supposed to be a problem? Mm -hmm. No, it's not a problem at all. I mean, considering the way you just handled me now, uh, you should be talking about uh, receiving a double from me. Oh, really? And uh, Listen, and if you ask me for a double, I will pay. Because I want to enjoy this again and again and even again. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. You see, that's why I love you. <laughs> and that's why I don't waste time whenever I see your call. Let, let me tell you one thing. Eh? If you learn how to give it only to me, eh? not all these other people that are, every time they are sending you text message, every time they are calling you, sending you Instagram, WhatsApp, rubbish. If you will learn how to give it only to Dogu, you understand, you know, you keep yourself for the sheer man, you will see money. You don't need to say that. I'll be keeping myself for you. Uh, yes. You understand? All those people, they're just trying their best. Uh, be? Yes. And uh, their best will never be enough. Right? At all. <laughs> I said your dad asked me to sleep with him. I wasn't dumb. I heard you. He asked to sleep with you, right? What is there? No, what is there to sleep with him? If you have slept with him, your problems will have been solved. What? Watermelon. What is what? Is this your first time? Are you a virgin? I know my father. If you had slept with him, nobody will hear of it. I mean, nobody. So what is there? You should have done it. Oh my goodness. Like... Really? No, really? 
Really? What is really? I even know. My father would have even used the condom on you. Eh? What is there? Open your leg. Let him just put it in. Put it in, oh. Not even full. In. You are here. Please, I'm traveling to go and meet him. I don't know. Stop. Close that your mouth. Oh, ah. No, ma. See, you've known me for a very long time to understand that I'm a woman with few words. Now you are like family to us. I want to confide in you. <laughs> Now to tell you the truth. My children and I are broke. As in, flat broke. We do not even have anything at home. No full stuff. Please. Yes, to the best of my knowledge, my husband invested over 30 million naira in that company. But Odogu will not help us. Odogu has refused to release money to my children and I. <laughs> Unless I go down with him. Can you imagine that? I beg your pardon? Hold on. What did you say I should do? I should solve my own problems myself by <laughs> No ma that I should go down with Odogu that is what you are advising me to do as a friend Ne hey, sh listen wait 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 listen Ne Now I know you are not a good friend if you can advise me to do that Nebrezi boy, listen to me. Please, 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 please. Do not call my line again. Oh yes, you heard me. For how long are we going to allow Odogu to take possession of my father's properties? Look at my long-awaited admission. I've lost it because of money. I now drink at morning, afternoon, and night. Can you imagine? The concrete job that I'm doing, I can't even save enough money from there. No profitable job anywhere. How then can I succeed? How will I succeed? How? Everyone is telling me Odogu is evil. Odogu is deadly. He's this one. He can kill with his eyes. I don't understand. I don't understand. Mom, I'm, I'm, I'm still keeping calm because of you. I'm having patience because of you. But I don't know for how long. Shoo boy, listen to me. Don't even think about it. That thing that your mind is telling you to do, don't even dream about it. Please. My happiness is that you said you are keeping calm because of your mother. Maintain it. Odogu is evil. Nya, he is an evil man. Never you go to confront Odogu for any reason. Unless you want to kill your mother first. Yama wanaka. Yama wanaka. Everything will be all right.
is this not a confirmation that she's a very useless girl? I mean, she told you about it? Yes, she said that. I mean, Dad, why will you do such a thing? Why? Are you angry? Well, I am not just angry. I am jealous. <laughs> it is not funny. I mean, are you trying to tell me that she is attractive, more beautiful, and need I say appealing than I am? Is that what she's trying to say? Why would you say that? Why would Leave you me that? alone. Leave me. No, but why, why would you think? I mean, alone? if you can do a thing like this, that means you're doing the same thing with other girls while I was away. How can you say a thing like that? Look at you. You are the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. You know you be sad. I can't do anything to hurt you. About Sandra, the only thing I will say is that I am sorry. Hmm. And it will not happen again. Hmm. There is nobody that does it better than you. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, no, don't stop. You know what I'm saying? Oh, stop. stop. <laughs> oh, daddy, stop. I am not going to stop because Thanks. you are the best. Oh, oh. I know. No. <laughs> oh, no. Is there a problem? Uh, what do you mean by thank God I am here? Uh, are you possibly telling me you were thinking I would have died last night or what? Uh, uh, how can you say such thing? Eh? I came to work this morning and I saw a very big python right there in your room. You saw a python? Not just a python, Odogu. A very big one with his head as big as a human old. Is, is, is that another way of telling me you are tired of this our business? No, no, do you now want to diversify into comedy? Yeah. What, what kind of useless joke is this now? Odogu, this is neither comedy nor joke. I am sure of what I saw. A very big python. I can even call Obiora for you to confirm from him. Where is it now? I mean the uh, python. We ran away when we saw it and by the time we came back, there's no more there. What does that mean? What is a python doing in my office? I, I, I don't know. Though. It is very strange. Very, very strange to me. Mm. Where are you going? The type that can swallow human beings. Although I'm sure of what I saw. It's a big, very big, the type that eats human beings. What is really the kind of people I have as uncle and cousin all this while? Am I dreaming? From the way she sounded, it is now clear that she is possibly doing it with her father. <sighs> Beautiful daughter of mine, you know it yourself. 
I don't need to tell you because I believe you know you are the sweetest. You are the sweetest thing that ever happened to me. I know you know. Do you really enjoy yourself being inside your own daughter? I'm under there are some kind of questions you shouldn't be asking. Can you possibly swear on anything that can kill that you have not been enjoying yourself? Can you? If my mother were still alive, will you still be doing this? When are you going to stop? Papa, I am asking, are you ever going to stop doing this? I, I, I don't know why you're bringing your mother into this. Can you just forget about your mother? I know you told me you are going back to school today. You will get my alert before you leave and trust me. It is going to be sweet alert. Sweet alert for this sweet woman. Beautiful daughter of mine. You are obviously avoiding the topic. We may not be lucky forever. Someone may catch us someday. Where are you going to hide your face? I bet you haven't thought about that. Hey! How do you believe it? One of our bosses just had a serious accident. What? A terrible one. It somersaulted severally beyond repair. I don't understand. Where? Our boss asked, how? The, the, the good part of the story is that there is no casualty. That is the conductor, the driver, everybody, the boss. No scratch. The passengers, everybody is alive and well. Polycap, are you still okay? You know, why are you talking a lot of nonsense lately? You, know, you, are, you are telling me that is the good part. You just said now that the boss somersaulted beyond repair. Oh, and no, now you are telling me that I know casualties like that is good to you? The, uh, the, everybody is all right. That is the strange part of it. It's very strange. The boss is beyond repair. Okulika, Okulika, beyond repair. But no scratch on any passenger, conductor, driver. But there is a scratch on me. That is um, along Umoji Express Road. How is that possible? Where will there be an accident and my boss will be the only one that will die? Very strange, sir. Boss, where are you? Boss, where are you? Add enjoy and don't be a boy. Your daddy didn't give you any money at all. Oh my goodness. Did you hear what I said? Or have you have you gone deaf or dumb? Didn't you hear what I said? I just told you that one of my father's bosses was involved in an accident. And you're here asking me if he gave me money to keep for you. Did you tell him to keep any money for you? Eh? Please, oh, please, please, oh, please. Don't piss me off. Please. I'm I think you have gone bonkers. Not gotten to that, I said I'm sorry. Why are you being skeptical about this? I am telling you, we saw the Python again this morning. Are you okay? No, are you, are you normal? Our boss, one of our bosses, just got crippled this morning. He's not making money, he's grounded. Why are you not talking about how to put that boss back, back to work? 
And you're here, you're here, you're here, telling me about Python. But must, must this be what we should be discussing? Listen, Polycap, you have already been parading yourself as a strong man. I give you the permission here and now. Any other time you see that Python, please. Although this is not about being a strong man. There is something strange. Something is not normal about the visit of I this Python. I agree Python. completely. Something that is, that is very strange with you. It has nothing to do with me. Listen to me. What exactly? Can you, you know, no, can, can you open up? What offense did you commit against the deity of Python that they cannot leave you alone? Why are you bringing it back to me? It is already on you. I'm not, I'm not the one bringing it back to you. Yeah. It is already on you. It, already, it is with you already. Are you not the one that is seen the Python? Have I ever seen any Python? Has any Python appeared to me? It is. He was over. What is it? Ogodo, everything is not alright, too. I thought everything is not alright. What is it? Can you tell me what you experienced? In as much as it's not my business, what you experienced, but can you not say? Ogodo, you brought your two bosses for me to fix. To fix the engine, yes. Yes, I, I finished working on them yesterday and I, I was hoping to deliver them to, to you today so that you pay me my remaining balance. I'm Ogodo, behold, this morning I came to my workshop to warm the car, the boss. The two engines, the two engines are cool, it has knock. As in one or both of them? Two, 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 two of them. Ah, ah. The two engines, no? The two engines, I'm so surprised. Ogodo, something like this has never, I mean, be. Yes, sir. So I'm calling because I believe that you can help me. The registrar already confirmed to me that I will not be allowed to write my final exam if I fail to pay my fees. And honestly, sir, I don't have it. I don't have any money. There's nothing you can do. Amanda, please can you give me an idea? Do you know you're disturbing me? You are disturbing me. I don't have any idea to give to you. Amanda, did you just say I'm disturbing you? Boss is a wreck. Yeah. Uh, and you both, you are telling me that both of you were in this bus. Yes, I'll go to you. I'll go to you. Now the day, now we blow you like this. So. This car, more, more water as you. So, how come none of you is dead? I'll go to you. Are you now wishing us dead? I wonder. How... You wonder. You wonder. Both of you were in this bus. Yeah, we're here now. And this level of accident happened. And both of you came out. Without even a scratch on your body. And you're telling me you wonder. Hmm. Oh, God, the point is that we can't explain how it happened. We are even surprised at ourselves that we came out alive on scratch. Adin John, we should know that it's God who saved us. We are all believers. Hey, you shut up! Shut up and stop telling me about which God. 
Which God? You don't, I don't know what you did. You have gone to your village to come fortify yourself with disappearance charm. Hey. So that both of you will be inside my boss and then accident happens. Boom! And both of you will disappear. Hey. And then reappear here to come and show me a picture. Why did you two disappear with the boss, you idiot? Are you mad? It's not, it's not what it thinks. Oh God, we, no. Hey. Hey. There's a very big problem hey, right hey, now. Hey, 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 Friday. There's a problem here that I'm trying to solve. You are supposed to be in on the chat with full passengers. Oh, Listen, I don't understand. Can't you just use telephone and solve that problem? Why was it? The fact that you don't understand what I'm saying, sir. I am on my way to Anisha right now. Suddenly, the, 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 the bus stopped. In fact, I was with two, two, two passengers. And the mechanic now came and said that the engine has knocked. So I said, let me come and tell you. Which car? Your car, the engine of your car, not engine. Huh? Engine I brought from Lagos last boat has knocked. Oh, God, I'm shocked myself. But the truth is that from here now, I am going to my house. You can go at um, kilometer 17 and get your bus from there. I am going, sir. Yeah. What does that mean? Okay, the truth is that I have realized that this company is an evil company. Oh, yes, sir. And since I've started working for you as a driver, I have not even saved up to 1,000 naira oh. as something. Hey, 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 hey. Are you mad? No, are you now blaming me for your inability to save money? When there is no shower in this vicinity, who doesn't know who you are? Are you, are you, are you high or something? Is there any hole in that blue light house? Who doesn't know you? Okay. Now you blow all your money in a chow and you're telling me you it's not my by force to work for you as a driver. God, God, I said I am resigning and I'm going home from here. You can go to Kumita and get a bus. That's fine now. I'm going. Oh. Neri. Oh, oh, oh. Neri is an evil woman, idiot. Oh, Neri again, boy. Oh, Are you mad? No, no. Put it up. I don't understand exactly what is going on. I mean, what is all this? But the world is still so strange. Uh, something told me that these accidents and uh, misfortunes are associated with these pythons that continue to visit us here. How? But we saw the python again this morning. Here, in this office, they all disappear before you go. Why have we not killed it? We don't kill python, but why you know it? Why are you sending me to kill a python? Have you killed one before? Or have you heard that any an indigenous of Fungiko can kill the python? You have to do something and do it quickly, Odogu. Uh, as you can see, the company is collapsing already. Okay. I need you to talk to me man to man. What exactly do you want me to do? Pythons are associated with deities. Once they start appearing the way they are appearing to us here, it means that a deity is closing in on us. So I expect you to find out the deity that is we are up against. You know, eh, I am up against no deity. You know, when you start talking like this, it dawns on me very disappointedly that after so many years of working with me closely, you don't even know me. Okogungudungu is far superior to all the shams and all the deities that all these useless enemies of mine are sending. It will happen before your eyes. I'm going to prove it that Okogungudungu will rise and they kill all of them. Although whatever Okogungudungu you have in your room is a private property. What? Possibly a charm you paid a team of native doctors to manufacture for you. You see that charm? No matter how potent you think it is, cannot stand the deity that keeps the people. What did you just say? You heard what I said, sir. Rise like a man. Ask questions. Pythons do not appear in vain. You could wear their bed and kitty. Wake up, I am going to forgive you for old time's sake. I am for forgiving you for the effective and efficient way you managed my money in the past. That's why you will live here in one piece. But the next time you will open this your mouth and refer to Okogungudungu as nothing. Polycarp, I swear to the deities and the gods of your forefathers that I am going to set you on fire. Get out of my sight. 
What is happening? Are you sleeping or what? Does it mean you can no longer see what is happening to me? Why in this world will you allow the enemies of my business to rise to destroy my business? My company is collapsing. Is that what you want from me? Or are you telling me you have not been seeing it? I hold you in high esteem. You are the only thing I have, and I believe it from the deepest part of my heart that you are more powerful than anything. I am asking you to rise. Locate that python that has been appearing in my office. I don't need anybody to tell me that that python is bad omen. I need you to locate that python and kill it this night. I am so certain that the death of that python will signal the revival of my business one more time. That is what I want you to do. Oko bun kudun ko. Do it for me. And I will have a reason to give you the third cow this year alone. Dogu's business is gradually crumbling. It's going down on daily basis. In fact, the way negative things are happening to him right now, one can say it is not an ordinary thing. And why are you telling me about Odogu? I have already taken the goods to Odogu to thank her for what she has done for me. Oh, Amadike. Are you confirming to me right now that the deity is involved or behind what is happening to Olobu? He said he's a deity himself. Am I away? Just because of the charm he brought from outside our land. It's all right. Let's see how he will survive this. Ogodike Now, wow. Mom. What could be happening to Odogu? My dear, I'm even surprised. Your uncle Odogu is receiving the punishment from God. I'm telling you, he is jumping from one problem to another. As I speak with you, he is granted with not even a vehicle running for him. <laughs> that evil man is obviously paying for his sins. Uh -huh. And that serves him right. Yes, he is. One that shall never end. He's well, Mom. He's well, Mom. Hmm. Tell me, how is school? <sighs> Mom, school is not fine. What do you mean by that? Mommy, I've abandoned school. What do you mean? Is she joking or what? Tell me you're joking. Mom, I could not raise money for the school fee. I had no other option than to abandon the school. There is no way I could sleep with any man just to get the money like some other girls do. I had to abandon it and move on with my life. Mm -hmm. 
please stop this. Oh, please stop. Oh. See, I understand everything, Mom. But the truth is that I am not going to be idle. Yes. I spoke to a friend of mine whose auntie retails human hair at men market. And she promised to talk to the auntie for me. Of course she did. And luckily for me, the auntie asked to see me. Yes. So mommy, I'll be working for her and I'll be saving money for the exam. Because the dean of the faculty promised me. He assured me that I can come back anytime I write my exam. So it's no big deal. The only painful part of it is that I will not be graduating with my mate. But yeah. definitely your daughter is going to be a graduate. Yeah. So please stop crying. Please. Please. Is this you? Yes, Mom. Is this you? What explanation can you possibly give? Although you have no roadworthy boss on any road in this country and you have no money anywhere to start anything. Who is doing this to me? Is this finally beyond you? What am I going to do? I don't understand. What is the meaning of this? I gave you my boss for you to fix for me. And you abandoned my boss to be working on Madame Vovo's boss. Madame Vovo's boss is the boss you're working on now. Instead of working on my own. What kind of nonsense is that? Ogodobu, Ristin. Ogodobu, at this point in my life, I need money. I need money. I have a lot of problems to solve. So I have to work on the bosses that accept my touch before I'll look over to your own. Is this how wicked you are? So because of this small setback I have now, you have abandoned and you have forgotten everything we used to share as man and man. You abandoned my boss to be working on Madame Vovo's boss. Madame Vovo is a tibuzi and a lubuzi. Now you have to be working on Madame Vovo. I would not say that, but you know, I would say your boss has gone beyond repair. Your boss has gone beyond repair, I would say. What was that supposed to be? I mean, what, what does that mean that my boss has gone beyond repair? I would say, I'm only a mechanic. I know nothing about spiritual problems. I think there's something spiritually wrong with your boss. Ogodobu, I've tried. I've tried. I need money now. At this point in my life, I need money. I have a lot of problems to solve. I've tried. I've tried. I've tried. I'm only telling you the truth. do I just call this? How will I explain to Antonia that all the things her husband left behind have been sold in an effort to revive the business and still the business went under? Who is doing this to me? How could it be said that Oduguli Jula Funanjikoka has no bars. Even in this era, I was planning to diversify to luxury boxes. Who is doing this to me? Papa? Emeka? How when did you get close to me? You wouldn't know because you have been thinking. What is wrong with you, Papa? And why are you thinking? Anyway, Papa, why are you not in your office? Emeka, why, where is your car? Why didn't you drive him with your car? Papa, I have sold my car. What? Why in this world will you sell your car? Papa, I sold my car so as to get money and pay off my debts. For some strange reasons I cannot even explain. 
Papa, I really don't know what is going on. Even to get goods on credit is not difficult for me. My old creditors want me to pay cash. Could this be connected with the Python? Papa, why are you not saying anything? <laughs> Actually, Papa, the main reason I am here is to collect the money you have been owing me for long. Since you have refused to, to send the money to me, I have come to collect it. Papa, you see that money? <laughs> That is my last opo. Hey, Madam Magopo, is your poor. I must have to be very sincere with you. If that money is indeed your last hope, in fact, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. Huh? Papa, what do you mean by that? Huh? Hey, Becca, you, you just you just got back. Can you go inside and freshen up? Yeah. We have a lot of talking to do. Just freshen up and come out. Okay. We have a whole lot okay. to talk about. Uh, Papa, I can't see your car. Where is your car? Emeka, I say that you just came back. You just go inside, freshen up, and then you come. We have so many things to talk about. <laughs> so many things. Papa, <laughs> I don't understand what is going on, though. I don't understand, though. If that money is his only hope, that means my son is hopeless. He is broke. Even as we speak, he has no boss packed anywhere. He can't even afford to repair the grounded ones. This is strange. You mean Odogu Lijula von Anjikoka? It's no Odogu Agolonago. Without missing words, Ikid, we are even better than him. He has nothing to show, nothing at all. Even as that, I'm not going to be in a hurry to laugh at him. Such misfortune could befall anyone. No, 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 no. Such misfortune cannot befall a man who has a conscience. Odogo has no conscience. He's responsible for this misfortune that came to him. There's a strong element of sense in what you just present. I told you. But we surely cannot dismiss this as nothing. Zora. See, I'm very hungry. I need to go and eat something okay. already. Yeah? Let's go. Yeah. Hey, Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> I am so happy that my sister is now a graduate. Oh yes, I'm happy too. At least we now have a graduate in the family. Of course we now do. Sorry. <laughs> but I am not happy that Sandra didn't graduate with you. I even hear she now works as a sales girl. Can we change the topic? Huh? How do you mean, Amanda? Both of you are having issues or what? Not at all. There is something you are not telling me, Amanda. What happened? Or what is going on? I said nothing. Do you want to force out words out of my mouth? What is it? It's okay. I just told you nothing and you're still asking me it's the same okay thing. It's okay if you say so. No please problem don't now. My mood, please. I, I've had you. Ah, it's okay. Amanda, what is wrong with father? What is wrong with father? Yes. Um. Uh, Papa? Uh, Dad? I'm coming. Excuse me. Daddy? Daddy, I'm coming. Business is getting interesting by the day. <laughs> and sincerely, I love the business. Yes. For me? Yes. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. Permission. Thank you. You're welcome, Mom. Don't make this yourself. is very good. Yes, it is. <laughs> 
Mom, you see that, my madam? That lady is a very nice woman. She explains everything to me. She likes me so much, yo. <laughs> and I noticed one thing. She pays me extra. For real? I'm telling you. I think I owe Angela a lot. Chai, for introducing me to her. God will bless them. Amen. God will bless them. Amen. What did I tell you? <laughs> hmm? I told you that our God is faithful. Yeah, he is. That he will help us. Eh? He's doing now it. Now see it. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> <sighs> But Anne, you're still working under somebody. And you're able to raise this kind of money to give to me, your mother. Mommy, don't worry. I make my money legitimately. Yes. And you're my only mother. When Chubi returns, I will give him his own money. Mommy, don't worry. By the time I get deep into this business, it is going to uplift us all. Amen. <laughs> yeah. You still have to be soon. Yes. And right. what? <laughs> I'm still surprised how ordinary hair has become a big business. Hmm. Mom, it is a big business. It is human hair. And that is what is in vogue now. Mm -hmm. huh. If you see one lady that came to my shop today, she spent close to 450000 just on three hairs. Then no what? Mommy, I'm telling you. I am. They, there was no rest at all to that one. You're selling it. Chai. Oh. Hmm. <sighs> I'm happy. I'm happy too. Hmm. I'm happy. Just that. I still do not understand it now. But maybe with time I will. Yes, you will. Uh, I'm still... You know, confused. You don't have to. Mm. Papa, you are not giving me any hope. At all. I told you I came to this village just to collect the money you owe me. That money is the only hope I have left on this earth. I don't know why you are sounding as uh, if you are not understanding what I am saying. Why does it appear as if you are flogging a dead horse? I told you, go back to Busi. Yes, you told me that, Papa. Of course, you told me that. But that doesn't mean you've agreed to pay me back my money. I know I, I'm not supposed to be asking you for this money. No. But just because of my present condition, Papa, I need to buy some goods in my shop. Papa, please. I perfectly understand what you are saying. No, Papa, you don't understand anything. You don't. Papa, is there something I need to know? There is nothing you need to know that I have not told you. I ask you to go back to Obusi. If you don't want to go back to Obusi, no problem. But can we talk about this later? Same thing you told me in the morning, Papa. Same thing. Papa, if there is something I need to know, please tell me. Tell me. I'm your son, Papa. Talk to me, please. I, and I'm your father. I don't know. I don't know why you're dragging. Eh? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, Chobi, how come I'm not aware of all this? I'm surprised as well. Wait, you mean your sister did not tell you? She didn't. I don't know the reason. She and my father have agreed not to tell me. And why would they do that? Are you not a member of the family? That is it. I am confused. Totally confused. <laughs> Look, I don't understand you. I don't understand these things. Are you trying to tell me that you did not even hear it from anybody? Come on, Chubi. I just told you about my present condition. I have been indoors ever since I returned. I don't want all these uh, people to start asking me unnecessary questions. You know how it goes around here. <sighs> Chubi, let me ask you. Do you really mean that um, my father, Odogu Lijulafo, now has nothing? That is the latest. 
and well no if we cha cha auto was chaco or no do google or your but i'm still very this thing is, is still confusing i don't understand i still find it very difficult to believe that you're not away the news is everywhere do you see it? I'm yeah. confused. The news is everywhere. Everybody knows now. Chibi, I am totally confused. I don't know what to do. And what do we call that? Huh? Does that mean I am no longer part of this family or what? Ebeka, Ebeka, can you please calm down? Can you calm down, please? I, I mean... have no reason to calm down, Father. Is there anything bad in telling me the challenges you face in business? Even you, my sister, you couldn't tell me anything. I feel so bad and rejected. I'm so disappointed in both of you. Emeka, have you seen why I decided not to even be disturbed you in the first place? I never wanted to tell you because I knew it from the very beginning that you would not understand it. That you will, you will misunderstand everything and flare up. Now that you have gone ahead on your own to unmask that something that I am hiding from you, what have you gained? Nothing. But I am happy. Now you know that my enemies are planning to bring me down. But I'm telling you that they will not succeed. I am going to bounce back. I want you to go back to Obosi. I will make money and I will remit your money to you. Simple. Oh, seriously, Father, are you not going to solve this problem? The money in my savings account is going down, and once it is spent, I do not have money anywhere. Can you please calm down? Listen, even when every other person on earth misunderstands me, you should not misunderstand me. You should understand everything. Okay? I am walking. This is a moment of temptation. Before the money in your savings account would have gone down like you fear, I would have made money. That's an assurance. You see that luxury bus I dream to own? Luxury buses. I am going to achieve that. Very soon. Mm -hmm. Come with me, Nene. Come down. Leave me, Papa. I have told you. I, I am not in the mood for this. You are not supposed to be in the mood. It is the responsibility of somebody to put you in the mood and that is what I want to do. Stop resisting me, Amanda. I am already standing and I promise you to be very fast with this one. Very fast with this one. Just come into the bed. Can you just stop this? For crying out loud, you're my father. This is incest. And stop speaking grammar to me. I am your father, yes, and that is the reason we are doing this. Listen, understand that we are in love. Don't ask me to stop because you are the only one I have. No! Now stop it right there. I cannot be the only one you have. I am your daughter. And that is the more reason we cannot stop. That is the more reason you have to understand that we are love because there is no way you will ever find any man anywhere who will love you like your own father. You may be right. Yes! You may be right. But we need to stop this right now. Do you know I have lost count of the number of times you have laid with me? Are you, are you insane or what? No, you are telling me to my face. You have been keeping count of the number of times you have been meeting behind closed doors. Come on. You shouldn't do a thing like that. You are mine. And we have this bond together. Why will you be counting it? And, and why will you be resisting me? Come in. Can you stop? Ah! Emeka. <clears throat> I thought you went out. Tell me. 
Is this a dream? I can explain. Will you keep your mouth shut? Just shut up your mouth out. Do something stupid. Shut up. Young man, young man. Hey, you have to keep your voice down. Keep your voice down. I can't still believe this. That you two have been having incest all this while. No. Hey, you, know, listen, you have to be very mindful of the kind of things you say. Yeah, yeah, are you listening to me? I beg your pardon, Father. I beg your pardon. What? I just unmasked the abomination, destroying my family. You are asking me to keep Lower quiet? Lower your voice because you know it yourself. You are accusing us falsely. I'm not accusing you falsely, right? Yes. Okay. Hey, yeah. hey, shut up! Don't provoke me, young man. You know it yourself, you have been provoking me, but don't push it so much this night. What is wrong with you? Listen, whatever thing you feel you may have unmasked is something that happens in practically all the families because there is no family you are not going to see one man that is sleeping with a daughter or even daughters. Whatever thing you have seen this night, you must have to treat it as family business. Impossible, father. Impossible. I can never partake in such evil acts. Neither will I hide it myself. It's not possible. Mother, please. Please, if you say this outside, nobody will ever get married to me. If they hear this, please. Wait, the sentiment, my friend. Please, it don't mean anything to me. Please, don't say this to me. Were you thinking about that when you were busy opening yourself to your own father? I know, I'm Abomination. Wrong. I'm wrong. Hey! I'm... Abomination. Ah! Jesus. Jesus. You know you're a fool, right? You said it already. That you will not partake in the evil. And I know you inside and out. If I leave you unattended to then you are going to expose this to people that are not qualified. And I am not going to play into your hands because I know you are a prodigal son. Please, <laughs> stop! But I stop this! Hey, 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 Shut up. Kitty. Shut up. Shut up. You are going to swear on this. <laughs> Listen to me. That on no account must you tell anybody <laughs> what we have been doing or what happened here this night. Listen, if you fail to swear on this, what happened to your brother right before you is going to be your fate right here now. And I will know that I have no child. Oh Swear! God. Come on, stop, stop, stop wasting my time. Point your fingers towards this and swear right now. Point, point, point. I swear! Stop! No, 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 no! Be, be serious! Be serious. I, I swear! I swear! Nobody will hear anything from my mouth. Listen, listen. This is all carbon, Ngudum. Powerful shrine that I imported from Olu. The very minute you open your mouth. To say anything to anybody concerning what happened to your brother or what we have been doing will be your last day on earth. So you just keep it. See your brother here? By tomorrow, I am handling it with no one now. I want you to remain in your room. Do not even come out. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, my 
Este día soy yo solo. No vos hela rati. Ay, afuco a mí. I saw him too. And he was asking me about uh, if any youth in council in Wekowalia. I told him what I know. Hey, I could a young man like a maker, full of life, die in his sleep just like that. Hey! Such a young man like a maker. Dying even without a wife. Ah, this is an abomination. It's yours on the place. Please. I am trying so hard to overcome this pain. Please. Please. Let us not. Let us not make it. Let us not make it break me down the more. Please. You, have, you have to be strong. Hey! Accept our condolences, please. Yeah, God, there's no problem. It happened to all of us. I will not remember some the same moment now. I I actually feel we should be we should be discussing on how to give him a befitting burial. It has happened. As sad as it is, it has happened and uh, we we have to give him a befitting burial. I'm just spent. I am just spent. Amanda. Amanda, I want to ask you a question. What is the question? Are you sure Emeka died the way your father presented it? How do you mean? Because I saw Emeka yesterday. So? So he wasn't looking sick. Yes. And he was even angry at your dad after I told him how he has been treating us. And Now you shut up! Just shut it! What, 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 what do you mean? Are you insinuating that my father killed my brother? No, I didn't say so. Just that I... Can you just stop this nonsense? I just lost my brother. Are you telling me this? Sorry. You're telling me this? Amanda, it's not what you think, it's just that. Mom, Sandra is right. You may have killed Amanda. For what reason? Hmm? Emeka is his only son. Why would he kill Emeka? No, we talk as if you don't know this man. You're not the one that said that uh, Odogu is evil. He may have killed him for a particular reason. My problem is that Amanda is able to argument to understand my point. Yeah. I beg, I beg, I beg. Don't say that again. Don't tell her that thing again. Please. Just leave them alone. Make up. son, my beloved brother, what kind of a man are you? What kind of a man are you? I hate you. I hate you for this. 
mean for you to continue desiring to have me even after killing your only son, my brother, right before me. Oh, it shows how wicked you are. Listen, Amanda. Stop raising your voice at me. Stop provoking me. You may elect to forget everything, but don't forget you are under a deadly oath. An oath that is going to kill you the very minute you violate the terms of that oath. Your brother died and he was buried. But if you force me and you die on that oath, Amanda, you will die and there will be no cops to be buried. Be very careful. Be very careful. You are worse than a devil, wicked man! You will ultimately come face to face with the devil. And then you will be able to compare and contrast. Sir, to be honest, you are really a godsend to me. Come on, Sandra, it's nothing. Okay? Ha, it's nothing. Mm -hmm. It is something, not just something, but something extraordinary. Sir, who would give someone goods worth millions of naira on credit <laughs> in this new generation? Nobody, I mean, no importer would do that. Well, Sandra, you must know that it is always good to help, okay? I trust you based on the fact that goods does not stay long in your shop before you sell them. You are strong and hardworking, and a serious importer like me needs someone like you. Thank you very much, sir. I wonder what I would have become without you and Madame Obi in my life. You both helped me to realize the gift in me. Look at me, look at Sandra. I now own my own shop. Ah, oh God. God bless you. God bless you, sir. Sandra, I've told you before. Stop calling me, sir. My name is Richard. Just call me that, okay? I'm not sure if I will flow well with that. You are like a god to me. And I will always respect you by calling you, sir. So please, don't stop me. Don't tell me to stop. Sandra, don't call me, sir. My name is Richard, okay? Okay, sir Richard. Sandra. Mommy, God must surely look at this good young man who has been helping you to give you good some credits. Mommy, I'm telling you, you know how expensive human hair is. <laughs> well, I think he knows. He knows that I'm fast in selling them. And that is the reason he has been helping me by filling my shop and for me to equally get more customers and gain. To be honest, Mom, <sighs> Richard is a godsend. Yeah. What is funny? <laughs> Are you sure this young man doesn't like you? Richard, of course. Mommy, I don't know about that. All I know is that I'm not his class. What do you mean by that? But that is the truth. No. It's not true. The truth is that you are having an inferiority complex before this man and is wrong. The earlier you start feeling special before him, the better for you. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you seen the way this young man has been helping us ever since Madame Obi settled you? Even the university admission your brother got is as a result of this same young man. Can't you see? That man likes you. That's what I feel. 
<laughs> Mommy, I don't know about that. All I know is that he is heaven sent to us. That's all. Is living in this. I don't understand. Why are you why 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 are you doing this? Now must we always quarrel before we do something? Must we? Aren't you tired of doing this? Tired of what? Aren't you, Papa? I, I, I have been wasting in this village ever since I, I finished from the university. How can you say? How can you say waste? You killed my brother. Your only son. You no longer have anything doing. You're supposed to be seeking for a solution. Here you are trying to make love to me. What is all this? Shame on you. Shame on you, Odogu. If you are not doing it with me, who then will you be doing it with? My friend, wait, 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 wait. Please don't read minutes into what I just told you, okay? Okay, where are you going now? Uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm going to uh, uh, Dogu Dijua Force Park. From there, I will take bus to Onicha. And from Onicha, I will take another bus going to Bino. Eh? Have I not finally been vindicated? You have lost touch in what is going on in Awanji uh, uh, Why are you saying all this? Is, is it because I, I, I want to take, take their bus to Onicha? Is that why you're saying all this, is, eh? Everybody knows that uh, Odogu's company has folded. Uh, go for it. Go for it. Odogu uh, Narana. I don't know what you're saying. Is that your prayer for, the, for their business to fold? Eh? Uh, this is boy. not about prayers or. Okay? I'm telling you what is happening in Awanji Koga. Odogu's company has folded. But don't worry. I will introduce you to this transport company. They are new in town. You will like it. Divine Mercy. Mm. They are very sharp and reliable. They even give snacks to their passengers. Yeah. Biscuit, drink, mine and if a good drivers, you will like them. They will entertain you like this. If you are not careful, you will be a teenager. Um, ba, 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 ag, ag, ba, um thank God I've, I I met you now. Eh? You take me to that bus park, yeah? Sharp, sharp. So that I'll, I'll eat their snacks while I'm away to their yeah, sharp sharp. See my toothpick. I'll eat their snacks. I'm a Nagoro drink. Let's go. Don't worry. Let me carry your bag for you. I will show you the place. It's all you carry my bag like my bag is not no, here. No, no, I don't no. understand. From now, way. I'm leading you the way. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. What is happening to me? It all started like a joke. And now, look where I am. Amanda was right. I have nothing. Nothing at all. I am just an empty man. Imagine. Sandra is now making money. A little Sandra of yesterday. The mouth that is used to eating the best of things should never be allowed to go hungry. Onuneli. It is going to be dangerous. What must I do? I wish I could stay with you, you know, but I must meet up with the appointment. No problem, sir. I know you are a busy person. I'm sorry, Richard. Most times I'm even surprised how you, how you manage to spend more time with me. Well, that is because you're special. Well, Sandra, I would love to have dinner with you. What do you think? Dinner? Okay, I... I will think about it and I will give you a feedback. All right, no problem. Just think about it, okay? I will call you in the evening and okay. you give me a feedback. Okay, sir. Richard. <laughs> All right, take care of yourself. Thank you. Okay? Yeah. All right. All right. I'll call you. Yeah, bye-bye.
dinner with him. Could it be that my mother is right? I think we'll do good predicament this time around. It's not ordinary. Mm. Yes, don't read some meaning into what I'm saying. He may have offended somebody that did not take it easy like others. Well, Christopher, I understand you. Hmm? But let Udugu fight his predicament the way he has been doing. Hmm? He knows how to fight his battles. Whatever problem he has, None of us is involved. Hmm. I don't think so. The last time I ran into him, it's like uh, something that's bigger than cricket has entered cricket hole. He was sounding like somebody that needs help from more desperately. Christopher, I find it difficult to believe that Odogu of all persons needs help. Eh? Honestly, I won't believe it. Until he comes to my place, crying into my ears that he needs help. Maybe I will believe by then. Is she really? Yes. Are you this heartless? Must you wait until he cry into your ear before we help him? He's our case man. No? Yes, I agree he's our case man. Eh? But we know the heartless one here. Eh? Look at Antonia and the children that he refused to help. They are not doing well. Sandra now has a shop for herself. Shubi is in the university. So, if Odogu needs help, let him go to Antonia to seek for help. Yes. Although we should go to Antonia to seek for help. Yes, you help me. Okay, you will go and tell him that. No, I will not tell him that. You are the one who has been running into him. So run into him again and tell him that Osundu said he should go to Antonia to seek for help. It's, huh? it's like you are looking for something. No, <laughs> at all. No, it's you that will tell him. Yeah. What do you think? Mom, I don't think I will go. What do you mean by that? Mom, I thought you were supposed to discourage me from going. I know I like him a lot, to be honest. But I'm not worth having anything to do with him intimately. Why? Why are you making me look like a bad mother? Come on, I'm not telling you to go and sleep with this man. No. He's just asking for a dinner date. Which I'm sure is going to happen in an open place. So why are you acting like this? Do you think you're getting any younger? Come on, mom. You are an adult. And my spirit tells me he has a good intention. Hmm? Nee. Just go and meet with him. Hear him out. That's how you meet a husband in this modern age. Okay, mom. It's him. He's calling. What are you waiting for? Answer him. Yes, sir. Look at my life. No job. No husband. No brother. No money. I have nothing. And all I do is, is to sleep with my own father who murdered my only brother. Oh. I'm the worst sinner on earth. Even without writing her degree examination, Sandra now owns a shop and is doing so well for herself. Look at me. With all my years in the university and certificate, I have nothing doing. How will I tell my story? Who will I even talk to? 
How will I tell my story? <laughs> You are scaring me right now. I don't know what to say. Does it mean you don't love me? Come on, I thought we were in this together. My love, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Why are you pulling back? I feel I don't deserve you. What do you mean by that? You don't know about my family background. Your, your family background? I have an evil uncle. An evil uncle who is believed to be sleeping with his own daughter. This uncle of mine made my family to look like an outcast. He seized all my father's property. I am so certain that if you get to know more about my family history, you will not like me. Please, I beg you. Give the ring to someone honorable and deserving as you. Please, let me remain the village girl that you have been helping in business. Please. Please. <laughs> Sandra, you are not a village girl. Okay? As a matter of fact, I know everything about your family. Are you serious? Yes. I made research about your family. And believe me, the results I got humbles me the more. You are a strong and dedicated woman. And believe me, your family history has nothing to do with this. Okay, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Okay, and I ask you again, will you marry me? Ubiako, I read one article. We are one uh, Vincent Madako who wrote that we, the Igbos, hardly help one another. In fact, he went out of his way to prove himself right. Then I equally went out of my way to find his number. Then I called him and I told him that he's a fool. Do you know why I did that? I did that to prove to him that don't worry about my Because when it comes to helping one another, we the Hebrews are number one. I still don't understand the point you're trying to make. Well, I I want you to further prove him wrong by helping me. You know, if there is any way at all you can help a brother to pull me out of this debt, go ahead and prove it. So that that fool, we know that he's a fool indeed. Uh, eh? Odogu, under normal circumstances, considering the way you started this your story, I would have helped you to prove you wrong. I, I know you helped me. But the circumstances that we, the circumstances that we are now, presently now, I don't have money to give to you now. I don't understand. You don't have money to give me? Odogu, what is it that you don't understand? Are you not the one that told me the other time that uh, I don't have a, 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 a something reasonable I'm doing or a business that is a, a profitable is, is business? Is that what you're still remembering? What men will always say to men is nonsense. <laughs> what we say to make the other men hang, just to break out the beast, they let us see what they have. It is not, it's not something that you're supposed to, you know, carry in your my heart. We say it there and we forget it there. How can I say you don't have anything yet? Well, I know you will be gonna end my brother again. Listen, the amount of money I am asking you here is not, it's not big money. It's not big money. I'm asking you to find me any money at all. Even if it is just for my daughter to cook something nice in my house, it will be appreciated. So that's my boogie, okay? 
I don't want to waste your time. I don't have money to give to you at all. The only money I have here now is 10,000 naira. And I'm not going to win him. Give me part of the 10,000 naira. Although I cannot give you. I have called my wife. She's on her way to this place now. To come and collect the money to, and go to the market. And buy food stuff and put at home. I cannot remove one cobble from that money. So you may go on time. Go on time. So that before you get rich, I came out with but for me, the gym. If we even have the God swallowed your pride and shame to come and beg me money. Instead of me to give you one naira, I will look for a lunatic on the street and give you. Ya no huele. Nothing. Don't make it look so big. What? <laughs> yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Sit down. You're welcome. Ina. Thank you so much. Is it there nothing? There are something. Ibu nuku ogo. Ogo vujone. Welcome. Chukwe nego mogo. Simuri weo, simu na mgo wao, mkuku, nejeje. Um, Chubi, how is school? We are doing it. <laughs> Thank you. Mommy? <laughs> oh, well, you'll be getting more of this. Eh? Now God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Ada? Beautiful daughter of mine, why is your face like this? Don't call me that. Don't call me that. Why are you doing this? I have told you several times to understand that what we face is a temporal setback which has come to further define the man in me. Do not play into the hands of anything and understand that you have a man who is working so hard. Listen, I am going to survive this and then I am going to launch a massive comeback. What useless massive comeback are you talking about? Can you, can you just listen to yourself? Go to your late brother's house. Sandra came back with a handsome and rich young man who wants to marry her. You let her see the things he brought for them. Oh, oh, how I, I'm jealous of her. Look at Sandra, who never finished school. Now she's succeeding more than I am. I, I mean, I graduated with good grades. I deserve all those things. Now what do I get? I become your house mistress. You know what? I hate you! Listen. One thing you must not do 
is to raise your voice at me. For you know it yourself that I am a man of many sides. You see, whatever thing that is happening in that house will amount to nothing. Because there is no way Sandra or anybody in your age bracket will succeed more than you in this life. What I am telling you is something that is already sealed in the spirit and there is nothing anybody can do about it. Like I said, wake up to reality, open your eyes. You are no longer a double legal for you are a broke. You are nothing. You do not have anything. You better open up to people before you fall into depression. No. Amanda, you may elect to forget all things, but do not ever forget you are under a deadly oath. Amanda, you are not just my daughter. Amanda, you are my wife. Amanda, you are my son. You are my girlfriend. You are my mistress. You are everything. Don't forget the oath. What have, I, what have I gotten myself into? Amanda, you're a fool! I should have stopped this! <laughs> Beautiful daughter of mine. Hope you know I understand exactly what you're going through. You don't. I do. <laughs> do you know I will be heavily affected if Sandra, who dropped out of school, gets married before me? Not just getting married, getting married to an influential man. I mean, take a look at it. I deserve it. You know, I, it is becoming very clear to me you don't even know the quality of the father you have, that he is a man who can make impossible things possible. I don't understand what you're talking about. I am the Odoguli Jula Fonanjikoka. Even when you made it clear to me by telling me to my face, you no longer see me as that. It has not changed the fact that I remain. The only thing I may not have now is money. But I am a man who sits in power. And I have what it takes to turn the impossible into possibility. How? You have made it clear to me by the way you sound, by the kind of things you have been saying. You have made it clear that the man who came to bury Sandra is the exact kind of man you want to have as your husband. Just to please you, my beautiful angel. I am going to use my power to make that young man abandon Sandra and marry your Easter. And how do you intend to do this? Trust me. I can do it. <laughs> if you do it, I am going to forgive you for everything you have done to me. Everything. Amanda, that's a very strong language. Are you telling me that you actually planned never to forgive me before? Come on, what 
we are doing is play. And we are in love. Come on, you know it. I am going to go out of my way. Use my power to get that man abandoned, Sandra, and marry you instead. But I will do that only on one condition. Which is? And that you will stop resisting me. I don't know why you are even resisting me. Is there anybody who can do it better than me? Nobody. And you know it. So you are going to stop resisting me. And you will continue going down with me. If you can do that, I am going to make that man abandon Sandra and come for you. <laughs> Just that? You see what I mean? Am I not the best partner in the world? I am not going to make any extreme demand from you. It's just the same thing that we've been doing. Let us continue doing it. And I'm going to break that man. He will come here. After abandoning Sandra, he will come here begging you to be his woman. I like your face. And I like that smile. Can we go inside, please? Come on. As you go. You are one medicine man of my land who has actually dwarfed all the medicine men of Olu. You might live in Alo. And we have come a long way. We have done many things together. Why are you finally looking at me as if I am no longer welcome before this altar? Why? In one very short sentence, why are you here? I want you to prepare a sham for me. Is that short enough? What kind of charm? Powerful sham. Sham like never before. I want you to give me a sham that will make the young man who has come to marry Sandra my niece to abandon her and marry my daughter instead. I have already tried to use my oko gungudungu to do that and it didn't work out. I still don't know why. That's why I came to you, the one in charge, for you to do it for me instead. Eguna. Ogugunji Koka is closing in on you. And I, Ezugo, would not want to associate with a character like you. You are calling me a character. I don't know. What does that mean? Repent. Go back to Ogugu, Njikoka, and present yourself as a real traditionalist that abhors evil. You deceive people with deadly charms, presenting yourself as a traditionalist. I would not want to be crushed along with somebody like you. You are not talking to me like this. Telling me to my face that I will be crushed. Just because I came to ask for your help. Ezugu, you know what? You don't want to help me. Keep your help. But somehow you are feeling that I am handicapped because I came asking for your help. I am not handicapped. I know everyone who should be known, and I know everywhere. You don't want to help me, I will get the help from somewhere else. So keep yours. No more. 
Makers of charm shall die by their charm. Don't say I did not warn you. Baby, that's my uncle. Oh, wow. Okay, then let's give him a ride. I don't think that is a good idea. Why? I don't just know. It's okay, love. Let's give him a ride, okay? Okay. He said so. Uncle! <laughs> Uncle, good afternoon, sir. Sandra. Uncle. Is this you? Yes, Uncle, it's me. And Uncle, this is my fiancé, Richard. Good afternoon, sir. Uh -huh. Good afternoon, young man. How are you today? Fine, sir. Good. Uh, Uncle, please just get into the car. Let's give you a ride. No, no, no. I am okay walking. I don't need to get into the car. Right? Uh, Uncle, please, we insist. Just get into it. And I am saying I am not interested. Or uh, is it by force to be given the right? What's the problem? It's okay. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, Uncle, uh, okay. My regards to Amanda. Okay. Sandra is now going to be married to a rich man. Oko Gungudungu, why are you forcing me to set you on fire? Why are you becoming useless lately? Hey. A big python! A big python is there! A big python? How? Yes. how? A, 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 a big python is blocking the living room. I don't know how I managed to escape. Can you just come down? What is a big python in my living room? Yes. How is that possible? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go. No, no, I'm not what? going. I'm not going there. I'm going. Go. 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 Are you sure you're okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. On here. Amanda could not have said she saw a python if she didn't see any. Could it be the same python Polycarp was talking about that appears in the office? Why then is he not appearing to me? Why? Hey, what could be the problem? No, I'm still checking it out. Okay. Uh, let me answer this call. Let me take this call. Hey, Odogu. I'm surprised at this call. Polycarp, where are you as we speak? I'm with Tibu Zobu in his workshop. And what are you doing there? <laughs> I'm fixing my boss, of course. You're fixing your boss? What does that mean? L listen, Polycarp. 
I want you to come to my house right now. No, I can't do that. What? I know you heard me. I said I cannot come. Eh? I'm very busy now, please. Hey? What is going on? Polycap is refusing to obey my instruction. And he calls the call on me. What's going on? You know what, babe? Now I believe you. That man is evil. But my love, I told you. I told you that Odogo is so evil that even the men in our family run away from him. Seriously, yes. I can still picture that evil face of his. That man will sure be an enemy of progress. Do you know the funny part of it all? Odogo wasn't like this when my father was still alive. I still believe that the beast in him evolved the moment my father died. Yes. What's the man? But I told you. I told you that it wasn't necessary for us to give him a ride. But you insisted. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? Now I understand your point, okay? Come on. You know I love you, right? Love you more. No, no, no. You are not talking to me like this because of my condition? <laughs> Odogu, I don't understand you. I don't even know what you are talking about. Is this who you are? Polycap? Have you suddenly forgotten how I have been helping you all your life? No, have you forgotten how I was feeding you and your family? Hey, hold it there. Hold it there, Odogu. You never fed me. Neither did you feed my family. Odogu, I owe you nothing. All the time we were working together, I never stole anything from you. Every dime I received from you were for services rendered. I didn't take your money. So, how did you feed me? I worked for you and I received my pay. You are telling me you, you fed me, fed my family. What's that? Odogu, you can't kill me. You can't. I'm not afraid of you. Forget about your eyes. You cannot kill me. Odogu, I know what your problem is. I found out what your problem is, so that's why I started avoiding you because you are an evil man. Yes, your problem is from Ohamadike. You sent the boys to beat Ohamadike up and you raped his wife. Hi, how, how dare you, Odogu? Yes, I did a wide consultation and I found out the manner of man you are. Ohamadike could take the beating. But what he couldn't take is you are raping his wife. So he took your case to, to Ogugunjikoka. Otto Genalosi. Yes, that's the deity that was sending the pythons to our office and uh, crippled your business. And it's about killing you. Can you now see Odogu? You are a drowning man. That's why I can't continue swimming with you because you are drowning. Just go, Odogu. Where's your newspaper? You are not holding newspaper again. Odogu hey, you laugh for hey. before. Hey, hey, mission, shut up. Shut up, Matus. Mission. Yes, love. I'm awake. Why? Seriously, I've been thinking. Thinking about what? About your uncle. What about my uncle? I mean, I, I don't trust him. I don't. <sighs> 
My love, what I mean is that I want to have the list of all it will cost for marriage in your hometown. I will provide the money in cash and go with you. I don't want to have any occasion. I've not heard of this before. I don't know if it will be possible. Well, in that case, we'll meet your mom tomorrow, okay? I believe there must be a man in your family that will understand what I'm trying to do. Okay, I will provide the money in cash. I don't want to have any occasion. Okay, my love. We'll meet my mom tomorrow, like you said. Yes, we'll meet her tomorrow. So can you sleep with me? Yes, come here. Oh, Amadike, why must you go this far? I only had sex with your wife. I didn't force her. We had sex like adults. Why must you involve Obugu in it? I have not experienced that before. But to tell you the truth, I agree with you. It's a wonderful idea. Especially in this era of many men not having money in their pockets. They will agree with the idea. Um, that's good, Mama. So when do we get a response? Mm. Before you go to sleep tonight, I'll call you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. Why are they thanking me? Is it not for our own good? Mom, hmm? someone is famished here. Is there nothing in this house to eat? Ah, uh -uh, says who? If you go to that kitchen now, you will see that I prepared a very special onubu soup. Oh, no. With cow meat. I trust you. Nya <laughs> eh. Oh, I can't wait. My love, I'm coming. Okay. Okay. Me be fast, be fast, be good. Yes, ma'am. His suggestion is not just outstanding but first class. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> and without missing words, we have approved it. Eh? We will just do the calculation and tell you how much it is. Exactly. <laughs> uh, this money we are talking about, mm -hmm. is he going to break it in cash or he should uh, wear it into somebody's account? Which account is he going to pay money into? Let him bring the money in a bag here. I neighbor we will give the youth their own, give your married maidens their own, the women we give them their own. Even in Ninjukoka, we give them their own too. And then, what was it here for? We know how we we'll do it as the immediate family. Yeah. But in this era, the government has not provided adequate security. It is risky going around with huge cash. That's the problem. Which account will he not pay the money into? I think he should pay the money into Antonia's account. She goes to the bank, withdraw the cash, and bring it to us. Of course. That will work too. My oh. elders, thank you. Uh, well, I think the most important thing here is that we have agreed on the cash option. Yes. All I need you to do for me now is to tell me the final submission. I think he has a way of making the cash available. <laughs> As a matter of fact, yeah. I am yet to know this Awaino, but I'm beginning to, to like him. Uh, I, I, I like him. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like him. Yeah. Give me the summation now. She has not picked her call. 
my love, it is possible she's still meeting with the elders. Forget how she made it look. What we have given to her is a serious responsibility. Obi. What happens if the homeowner refuses to accept this subjection? If they refuse to accept the subjection, then we'll go all out. Okay? We'll go all out and give them whatever they want. You are a gift from God and I will do anything to make you mine. Okay? Okay. Ah. My mom is coming already. Oh, wow. Hello, mom. Okay, yes, he's here with me. She wants to talk to me. Oh, okay. Hello, mom. I'm here. Yes, how did he go? Yes, are you serious? Wow, seriously, this is the best news I've had all my life. No, 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 don't bother about the money. I will bring it tomorrow, okay? Yes, I'll bring it tomorrow. Don't, don't bother. I am very, very happy. Sandra is a gift from God and I will do anything to make her mine, okay? Now we'll start planning our wedding. <laughs> Oh, thank you, mother, for pulling this through. You are the best mother-in-law. <laughs> thank you, mom. I love you. I love you. Yes, I'll go. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> wow, Viv, you're getting married soon. <laughs> My young man, if I go, man, you have done all that is required of you. Give me your hand. She's now your wife. <laughs> you are now our in-law. Yes, sir. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. If you have money for the white wedding, you can go ahead. But if you don't like, already this marriage is blessed. Yes, sir. <laughs> it shall be well with you. Amanda must you joke with everything. I mean, who, who told you this? Forget about who told me that. I am telling you the truth. Richard has already gone to pay for Sandra's bride price. As I am speaking to you, the elders are already calling her his wife. But that's not possible. You know, it is not possible. Am I not the owner of this woman now? Is it ever possible for anything to happen in this woman now without me knowing about it? Without my consent? Without my approval? It is not possible, Amanda. I know why you're doing all this. Stop it. Saying it. You're just saying all this to cover up. To cover up this nonsense. Because you know you have failed me. You have failed me. You promised me that you will make him abandon Sandra and come and marry me. And it, it you said that, but of course we all know what your plan was. Was to just say those words to sleep with me. As usual. Now we are here. I am with you, right? I hate you. Just, just like I just blew you now. I hate you. Come on. Fanta. Amanda, Amanda, you will blow me. I, I, I am talking and you are eating at the egg. What nonsense have you people done? How can you initiate such useless process and you call it marriage? Even you, is she your son though? Does it mean that I am no longer respected in this family? How can you allow this to happen? There is a marriage process in Injikoka. The man that is getting married must carry a cup of wine. I must file out in a procession. Then finally she must kneel before the one that is marrying her. And the elders that are gathered will pray over the marriage. Did that happen? There was no procession. And you are here telling me that Sandra is married? Listen to me. As far as I am concerned, Sandra is not married. 
Sandra is still a girlfriend to that man, and it is an abomination that you heard us for the very first time. Will initiate the process of a maiden of a family to go and be a girlfriend to somebody. Sandra is still his girlfriend, and if that man dies today, we are not going to mourn him as an in-law because he is not an in-law to this family. Be looking at me, but I'm going to get all of you one after the other. Don't worry. Why would they think of such? Could it be they never wanted me to get involved? Is she or son the way conspire with other men and give out my niece in marriage without mentioning it to me? This is the climax of insult and I will never allow this go unpunished. Never. Without missing words, I am the happiest man on earth. And I am the happiest woman on earth. Thank you for accepting me into your life. Please stop that. I should be the one thanking you for coming into my life. When I thought I've reached the end of the world. I can't wait for us to start having babies. <laughs> I am not in a hurry, my love. Babies are gifts from God and they come when God wants them to come. I love you so much. I love you more, dear. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. Ada, good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon, sir. You are the one that stays here, now? Yes, sir. I'm looking for a man named Ohamadike. He lives here. Oh, Ohamadike? Yes. Okay, you mean the family that used to live here before? They are no longer staying here. They've gone to their new house in GRE. GRE? Mm -hmm. Hey. Are you sure you know the Ohamadike that I'm talking about? Ah. Ohamadike that had one boss that year. He's getting to two years now. They're no longer staying here. He built his house and he moved out with his family. <laughs> Ohamadike? <laughs> Do you know his address? I don't. But I know who does. Who? There's a man at a shop down the road there. You said the man is down the road? Down the road. Is there any problem, sir? How do I find the man? There's a shop. Ah. 
This is the same address I was given. Hey, Ohamadike is the owner of this house. How is that possible? <laughs> it must be a different Ohamadike. Go phone, my friend. Uh -huh. Who are you and who are you looking for? Well, uh, my name is Odogu Lijulafo Nanjikoka. I am here to see Okamadike, but I don't know if this is his house. Wait, you came to look for Okamadike and you don't know if this is his house. So, what are you doing here? Who are you looking my for? Friend? My friend, be very careful how you talk to people. Do you know the man that is standing here you are trying to intimidate? Ah, this eh? man. With this, your jaga jaga papa cap, you they, you they, you they, you they, be cabal. Very good, tell me, can go tell my other. Clearing gun, telling his other. That means the Hamadi key is actually living here. Other? There's a man at the gate. He said he's a uh, Odogu Lijula for. Eh? So uh, Odogu, let him in. Odogu, let him in. Odogu. Oh, is it the different of Malik? Uh -huh. You say your name, your Odogu. Odogu Lijula for Nanjikoka. That's what I said. No, oh, Allah. I'm going to know you. Come inside. Get to look. Hey. Hey, hey, Oga. Now the, the man did this. Thank you. Odogo, what a pleasant surprise. Oh, Madik. Is this you? Yes, it's my wife and I. And I know you are surprised. How come? I mean, how did it happen? Odogo, I know you expected us to be poor for the rest of our lives. Things don't work that way. Anyway, in case you must know, things got better for our son who lives abroad. And he started a new transport company for me, known as Devon Medicine Transport. I know you are familiar with that name. Wait. Are you in any way connected to that Divine Mercy Transport Company? I am not just connected. I am the owner of the company, courtesy of my son. We don't just travel to our nature alone, but to every part of the nation. We have branches everywhere, and things are working well for me. Dodo, I don't know why you are here. For men looking at you, you are frustrated. Look at you, wicked man. Exactly my point. We do not know why you are here. We only authorize the gate man to let you in because we want to set our eyes on you again. And here you are, standing before me. Well, I wonder, you know, honestly, I don't even know where I'm going to start. I do not need to know where you want to start from. Because I do not want to have anything to do with you again. Now leave my house. Eh, 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 eh. Mario, Mario. It has not got into that. Leave you. Mm. Leave my house before I turn my aggressive dogs on you. You organized your men to rape my wife. And here is that wife of mine living her life to the full. And you. Where are you? You are standing before me and I cannot even see you. Now leave my house. Anyway, in case you are interested in riding tricycles, we have dozens of them here, courtesy of my son. I can even give you one on higher purchase. That is the highest I can do for you. Now leave my house. Leave my house, Odogu. Get out. Leave, leave my house. house. Get out. Get, Get out. out. Carry your frustration and leave Come my on, house. This. Leave my house. Man out of here. Out of here. Leave, 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 leave. Leave! 
are at Wicked nonsense. Wicked man. Wicked man. Get my man. house. Get my No sense. Look at him. Wretched man. He's, he's okay. He's okay. Can you imagine? He's okay. He's not here. What is this? Are you diversifying into gas business? My love, look at this very well. Is it my name that is written on it? The letter is addressed to my mother. Obi, what are you up to? This letter <clears throat> is addressed to my mother. You know, that has been your mother's dream all her adult life. You know, to own a gas plant in Injikoka. I know, I know, I know. And what did you do about it? Well, I, I, I'm establishing one for her. Like... To revive her. At least, she deserves it. Oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> That company has nothing less than 60 brand new buses in its fleet. With branches everywhere. What exact business did this boy do in Switzerland that gave him that kind of money? I have not come here to ask you to solve the problem for me. Because I know you will not. But I have come to plead with you for all time's sake that you will tell me how I can solve the problem myself. Can you work on body again? That's why I'm here. How come you finally decided to wake up when destruction is already eating up the fabrics of your existence? Well, the important thing is that I'm finally here. And I need you to help me. What must I do to reverse this cause that is placed on me? I know you will say that I am broke. Of course, I am broke. But Odogu Lijilavo is a man who can find money once money is needed. Tell me how much it will cost me to solve this problem and I will, solve I will provide the money. To solve your problem, you will need to go round the hole in Jikoka with a sounding again or equa, telling the people all the atrocities you've committed. Is this supposed to be a joke or what? I am telling you what to do. And after the open confession, you will need to go to Ogugunjikoka and go and meet the chief priest and listen to what he will tell you. It's very simple. You don't want to do anything for me. You're just... How can you say this? Do you even know the caliber of man that is standing here? You just stand here in your shrine and just be talking anyhow. You want me to travel around in Jikoka, telling the people the atrocities that I committed in the dark? Come on, as you go. There must be another way out. I cannot do what you are saying. For what happened in the dark must be left in the dark. There is no other option. 
and time is not on your side. You are here relaxing. No, you are relaxing as though nothing is going on, like everything is fine, like all is well. Well, let me break the news for you. As we speak, Richard has bought the parcel of land at the Square Junction to build a gas plant for Sandra's mother, a business she has dreamt all her life. What did you just say? You heard me right. No, you heard me right. The people you used your black charm to hold, they have broken free. And now they are succeeding. Look at you. I don't even know why I listen to you. Odogu, you have ruined my life. You have ruined my life? I will never forgive you. Never! Wicked man! Gas plant as a multi-million naira business? What is all this? What have I achieved in this life? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, <laughs> You know it yourself that you have been disappointing me on series of issues lately. But I still believe you are powerful. I still believe there is something that you can do. Can you count it yourself, the number of cows I have given you since you arrived here? If you remained in Olu from where I got you from, would you have seen that number of cows? There is urgent need for you to rise today. You must have to rise and put my enemies to shame. You are my last hope. We are going to war. Do not disappoint me. Okogungu. This is the time to show me that you are the greatest. That intruder who has come to destroy my family, the same one who is building a gas plant is in here right now. And I want him dead because when he dies, everything dies. They can never arise above me in this family.
What do we call this? And what would have happened to him? What happened to him? What happened to him? We heard someone scream. We rushed out to check it out, only to find him lying down here. He is evil. Huh? This man is evil. He's been sleeping with me since I turned 18. Uh, what? <laughs> he killed my brother, Emeka. Because he found out the incest in our family. And he forced me into an oath. He forced me into an oath not to tell anybody what happened. Hey! He was the one that made me. <laughs> I, I, I despise you people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I, I was not myself all this while. I've not been myself. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I've not been myself all this while. Something happened to me. I just regained my senses. I was hypnotized. Please. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Please. Because it's okay. It's okay, my please. daughter. Come, get up. It's all right. I've forgiven you already. I'm sorry. Udo. My beloved. I'm so sorry. It's okay. okay. So what do we do now? What do we do? We need to inform the woman about this. Okay. Shubi. Oh yeah. Go, 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 go. <laughs> 